right now. We are in the midst of a big old warm up around here and we're going from record low temperatures to well above normal temperatures as we head into this weekend. Not necessarily record breaking, but a possibly I mean record breaking turnaround in our temperatures where we're going from 16 degrees got up to nearly 70 yesterday and we'll be to near 80 nearly 80 degrees today. That is a big temperature swing 62 degree change over a three day period and in October you can certainly see these swings usually going from warm to cold and we're talking about going from bitter cold to incredibly warm especially for this point in the year and when we look back at some of these big temperature swings that have happened over a three-day period in the month of October uh, this could potentially take over the top spot we have some records that date back to 1972 the largest swing that we could find was 56 degrees back in 1974 and uh, some other ones that were around 50 degrees so there have have been some of these big swings, but this would be the largest one on record at least since 1972. So we have already some warmer air out there this morning. Temperatures up by around 10 15 degrees and we're sitting above freezing for the first time in eight days. We have been sitting below that freezing mark because of the cold air that's come into place. So we're now at 40 degrees in Cedar Rapids. 34 even in Iowa City is still above freezing there, but a chilly spot. 43 in Washington, 48 in Tama, 41 Waterloo and Old Wine. And we have clear skies have been going on through the night, but this warmer air has moved into place and that's going to keep temperatures held up and keep us up as we head through the weekend. So for this afternoon, temperatures will warm even 10 degrees warmer than yesterday afternoon, which felt pretty nice. We're going to be getting into the 70s there, mid to upper 70s at that. And then later tonight, we just drop down into the 40s. So we'll start off even warmer tomorrow morning. If you're heading out to those high school football games tonight, well, probably still going to want to have a jacket, but not going to be too bad. We'll have temperatures just dropping through the 60s and into the upper 50s by the end of the games. We have this very warm air that's coming into place, though, taking over a large portion of the country in spots where snow was falling and accumulating. We're talking about temperatures being 15 to 20 degrees above normal. So as we head into this weekend, we have the potential of touching 80 degrees, and that would be the latest that we've had an 80 degree temperature in the year since 2004 when it happened on October 22nd. Second, and I believe you have to go back to 1992 if we actually get to 81 degrees or warmer than 80. So it's definitely unusual, but can still happen. The latest 80 we've ever had on record happened on Halloween a couple of times actually in the past. But uh, we have this strong low pressure system and cold front that's going to come in, pulling in this warmth out ahead of it, leading to gusty winds Saturday and Sunday, and the possibility there could be some strong storms Sunday night in portions of central and western Iowa. We'll then have the chance of some showers and storms as we head into Monday. Day. A secondary low pressure system on Tuesday could bring some more rain and possibly some more widespread and heavy rain to parts of the region as we head into Tuesday. But the question is, where exactly is it set up? Regardless, I've increased rain chances for Monday and Tuesday. Prior to that, though, we're going to be in the 70s to near 80 degrees. Rain comes on through and then the temperatures drop back on down below normal as we head into next week. And right now we do have some slick conditions out on the streets, even where you're seeing some of these greens in town. We still have these stretches of road where it's, it doesn't look clear, and that's because we have the snow and ice that has formed on the streets. We have the wind that's been blowing snow back onto the roads, and we especially are seeing that issue up in the north here. That's where we also have a lot of schools that are delayed this morning. You can check that full list at iowasnewsnow.com. We have links right at the top. You can also check road conditions before you leave. So I don't care where you are. If you're in the green or in your blue, you're in the blue. You want to take it slow this morning and we want to avoid any more issues. Something else that's happening too is you can kind of see them as uh, the sun's just starting to come on up. But we have some flakes flying in parts of the area out here in Dubuque and in Dubuque got close to around an inch of snow yesterday and uh, we still could be seeing some of that snow getting blown around with the winds. And then we have the additional snow that's going to accumulate on the streets because it's been cold out there now. We do have some of these snow showers that are going to rotate on through during the day today. Low pressure system still sitting over Minnesota, so that's leading to the snow showers coming in. Some flurries keeping the clouds around and leading to the strong winds. Temperatures are down around 20 degrees right now. That's cold enough, but then add on a little bit of wind, and we have this west wind going on around 15, 20 miles per hour. That's just making it feel even colder on top of blowing the snow. Uh, we have wind chills that are down in the single digits this morning, feeling like 
uh, three degrees in New Hampton, eight in Cedar Rapids. As we head through the day, temperatures are going to rise into just the mid to upper 20s, and we'll have the windy conditions, the clouds, the flurries, and the snow. Winds are going to be going around 25 to 35 miles per hour in terms of those gusts, and that's pretty persistent throughout the day. So that's going to lead to wind chills being a factor through the day in terms of what it actually feels like to your skin. It's going to be feeling like the single digits to around 10 degrees. And then as we head into tonight, the wind stays strong and wind chills drop down to around zero tomorrow afternoon. Uh, yikes feeling like five degrees and uh, we could have other parts of the area feeling like zero outside throughout the afternoon as our temperatures are in the low to mid 20s. We will have some light snow showers and flurries around two today that would amount to around a couple tenths of an inch, maybe a half an inch in some spots, but should not be all that much uh, just kind of leading to some few patchy slick spots when it does come down and we want to continue to just take things slow, especially as that blowing snow continues and temperatures remain below freezing leading to the icy conditions. We may have some flurries around tomorrow, but we keep the clouds and the wind and then the sun finally returns on Sunday. However, it stays cold and it's going to be cold as we head into next week and likely get even colder. We're watching a couple systems that are going to come through and lead to temperatures not just being below normal, but well below normal, leading to some brutal cold. And in the days leading up to Christmas too, we could be seeing some snow around, could cause some travel headaches. Still got some things to work out in that respect. But for today, we got some light snow showers and some flurries around. Temperatures are going to be in the 20s through the weekend. Sun returns on Sunday. We then have temperatures up around 30 on Monday. We fall down as we head through next week after a cold front comes in, and then we could have. And a part of uh, the reason why we're keeping an eye on the Mississippi is because of the warmth, and the warmth is because of the wind, and the wind is also the reason that we have high fire danger and red flag warnings across the area. So this is a concern in multiple respects on multiple fronts, uh, but in terms of the issue at hand today. It's the red flag warnings that are not typically something we see that often around here, but we do have this dry ground, dry air and strong winds once again, leading to the risk of fire spreading very quickly. So avoiding outdoor burning is going to be a must today and just keeping close eye on things like cigarettes and such that can cause sparks because things can uh, spread very quickly in these conditions. And it's the gusty winds, the low humidity or dry air and the lack of rainfall recently and the dry grounds leading to uh, that potential today. So definitely want to air on the cautious side. We do have right now clear skies though and the sun up and shining. Temperatures are starting off in the 50s and will quickly warm up just as we did yesterday as the winds are coming in out of the south and west and they'll be picking up through the day as well. That is going to be sending our temperatures up back into the 80s and we'll have the sunshine and some really nice pleasant conditions just going to have to put up with that wind at times. Temperatures though are going to be running in the 80s and we are going to continue to see this unusual warmth through the end of the week. Temperatures are going to still be near 80 tomorrow. This is actually the warmest four day stretch that we've had in April since 2010. And the last time we had back to back to back 80s in April was way back in 1990. Now we are going to have the winds continue to pick up out of the south. 30 mile per hour gusts today still going to be a bit breezy tomorrow and we'll have the sunshine tomorrow. Clouds begin to move in in the afternoon and evening. We'll have the chance for some scattered showers and storms here and there Friday night into early Saturday. We could see additional rounds. Predictor is not showing much, but the potential certainly exists. And the Storm Prediction Center is keeping an eye on the area for the possibility of an isolated storm or two. They have this marginal risk, which is a one out of five. So that would mean perhaps um, an isolated thunderstorm develops and strengthens. But we'll keep a close eye on that for Saturday, most likely in the afternoon and evening. Uh, but regardless of the amount of rain that we see here, we are keeping a close eye on what happens to our north because there has been a lot of snow that's melted recently along and near the watershed of the Mississippi. And as that water is traveling through the system, any rain is going to complicate that or add insult to injury. So we are going to be watching very closely what's going to happen over the next week or so uh, upstream because as we see the river rise, we'll get a better idea of what happens down here. But we are looking at the Mississippi to crest sometime in late April or early May and the National Weather Service concerned about there being some record flooding could be in the top five crests on record in some spots 
in eastern Iowa. So uh, that is something that's a byproduct of this warmth and the fast melt that's happened to our north. We do have temperatures today back in the 80s. We're uh, near 80 tomorrow with the sunshine. We'll have the chance for some showers and storms. Some rain may linger into early Sunday. Temperatures then start to crash as uh, we've had this warmth for a while. We're below normal to end the weekend and then we start to climb back up early next week. Right now we do have a just a snowy morning out here back in the winter wonderland in parts of eastern Iowa, especially you go to the north and east and there's five to seven inches of snow that fell. You get down to about highway 20, closer to two inches and then highway 30 is about a half an inch to an inch of snow. We do have a few slick spots out there in the northeastern part of the area, but around Cedar Rapids, just been some wet streets and uh, to the north and east where there's more snow. That's where you'll find some partially snow covered roads, not seeing huge issues on the main roads, but could be some side streets and some of those uh, just uh, side roads that are the gravel roads that could be having some trouble there with uh, the snow on them. And we are going to have just a bit of a slower commute that way, but we should get into sunshine over the next couple of hours. That will definitely help the situation. Might take a little bit longer in the north and east, but down to the south and west, snow should melt away pretty easily under the April sun. We have temperatures that are in the 30s across the board, 32 in Decorah, 35 Cedar Rapids 36 in Washington and the winds are strong too. You've probably been hearing them and then in the last hour we've had some wind gusts around 30 to 40 miles per hour and uh, that's going to lead to quite the blustery day with temperatures in the 40s in the north 50s in the south and the sun coming out at least <laughs> it's going to feel a lot colder with winds gusting around 35 to 45 miles per hour especially during the first half of the day. Winds stay strong this afternoon start to back off as we head then into this evening and as the winds die down and the skies stay clear we are going to have temperatures dropping down into the upper 20s to low 30s. So even as the snow melts and the sun comes out today, if you do have any sensitive plants and flowers, you'll want to cover them up or bring them inside because we are going to have this cold air around. And it's just unfortunate after we got into all that warmth and started to see things blooming and the trees, the buds on the trees and such, and the grass uh, turning green. Maybe some people mowing their lawns and now it's a uh, snow, but uh, we are going to have the northwest wind for today. Quickly switching out of the south and east tomorrow, pulling in some warmer air. We're back into some more springy weather by the middle of the week with a chance for some showers and storms on Wednesday. And uh, this model here showing a line coming through in the morning. We'll have to kind of keep an eye on things and uh, watch the trends, but there's certainly the chance for some storms on Wednesday. The Storm Prediction Center also has been monitoring the area with a marginal risk and a slight risk, which is one out of two out of five, one and two out of five on the scale here for the possibility of some strong storms. So we're going to be keeping an eye on this and we'll have to kind of watch and see where everything does set up. But there's a chance we could see some additional storms on Thursday as well. As we do keep the pattern active, we have this snow that fell uh, partially on the Mississippi to some heavy snow and we have some more rain this week that could cause additional complications on the Mississippi as it's expected to rise over the next two weeks. We do have flood warnings posted until further notice and uh, the National Weather Service concerned about the potential for some uh, near record crests to occur as we go through the end of April and into early May, depending on the situation because of the snow that's melted and because of additional rain coming through. We are going to have temperatures around 50 today, near 60 tomorrow. We take it a step up into the middle of the week with some springy weather and the chance for showers and storms, but we then get tossed back down below normal as we head into the upcoming weekend.